Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. And this one, we're playing Zareth Support once again, like most of this week. And we, honestly, we do really good at the end of the game. But at the start of the game, we get pretty rough, and our ADC really comes back from it. There's, uh, there's a few ganks and everything that go on. We fight a few fights that we probably shouldn't have fought. But su super, super solid recovery, top damage in the game, easy carry. Thank you so much for watching. Better play. Not to mention, it, on support Zareth, it really just works perfect either way. Both items are really, really good on him. I can make the decision later. I don't even have to make it all the way up to the last chapter. Third W. What's the gold difference between costs? Okay, they're both 3200. I thought so. Pretty much the same item. Just different result. Okay, you scared the hell out of me. I didn't expect him to walk through the mid lane bush there. It's fine. I had the mana flow. I didn't get my first strike off, but that's no biggie. A damage isn't really enough to do a reset either. Waiting on the minion respawn here is fun. I'll hold here. <laughs> Every once in a while, you get someone who just like all caps is one of their character's voice lines and uh. Here it is, man. I haven't seen one in Hot Minute. I think the last time I saw one, it was, uh... was it? I think it was in Annie's line. Talking about Tibbers. Uh, the rank you're in is related to your account. <laughs> See, he says that. He's 300 games, 47% win rate. There's no shot he doesn't know what rank he is. This account hella decayed. You don't decay in the plat. Like, you don't go 47% win rate, 300 games, and then, like, decay down. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure that account is just a platinum account. We know that she started Q, so we have to, yeah. Perfect. Huge. Huge damage. They got, like, 200, but we got 400. Love to see it. Or, I guess 300. I think Lux just has lower HP. Based on all that early damage, I'll just continuously poke a Lux here. Early ward here. Do I need a flash? Ah. I will pop both of my pots though. Ow! Ooh, that hurt. I can't believe that hit me. Hmm. That's not that great. No problem. It's not too big of a deal, I don't think. Let's mess up uh, her reset timing. It's fine. She did a Dark Harvest proc on me. But I hit some first strike on her as well, so. Got my Q now. I'm gonna take my reset here. I have plenty of mana, but my HP is a little bit uh, a little bit too scuffed. I get most of the XP for this wave as well, so. Not too big of a deal yet. The fact that Lux stayed is a little weird to me. Maybe I should have stayed then. I didn't assume she would go into. That's rough, man. That's a little brutal. Okay, I don't know why Caitlyn was doing that. That was a little scuffed. Like, she she knows better than to, at level 2, she doesn't have her E to get out. I'm gonna stop the uh, range minions a little bit. Mm, 
now we're pretty hardcore behind in this lane. It's fine though. Like they're not playing particularly good or anything. Just uh, there was definitely not enough respect being given. I tried to dodge that minion so I wouldn't accidentally take it and couldn't hit the uh, shot because of it. Damn, she's fast as hell. Oh, she just built boots already. Exhaust is back in two seconds for both of us. Pretty sure me and her exhausted the exact same time last time. Okay. I had all the damage I could on him. I needed Caitlyn to get a kill for the trade off. I could have flashed the Lux Q, but. I wasn't paying enough attention. I was very focused on trying to stop the uh, Nunu there. We got the kill on me. I think that one went to Lux. Pretty sure Ash got the two on Caitlyn, so. Uh, a bit of a pain. Her damage is going to be decent for sure. The kill on Nunu, though, overall isn't too bad. He's a little too slow. We got a bunch of damage there. Uh, I'm gonna reset anyways. I guess I might be able to mess with the reset a little bit. Just messed with her a little bit. Uh, there wasn't too much else to do right there. I could have taken an earlier reset for the uh, lost chapter, but holding her there was fine for me. <laughs> she didn't reset, man. They keep doing this. I don't understand. Why did she not reset there? I, I guess because she saw me resetting, so she wasn't worried about it. I thought I was closer, <laughs> to be honest. The charge up was uh, definitely a little early there. It's fine. Bunch of damage on her. They're definitely on this uh, dragon. Like, I don't even have a ward. There's not too much of a reason for him to walk up. They might not be on the dragon, I guess. Okay, nice jukes. Level 6 on her now. We have to be a little bit worried about that. Damn, I'm barely off 6. I would have been able to kill Nunu before he got the... Uh, which we call off if I could have. I want the minions to walk up so I can get some more mana back from passive on auto attacks. Overall, though, just trying to get a bit more poke in. I can hit like an E on either of them. They get a little bit too cheeky with it. That's huge. Got dragon. Nice kill live there. Perfect. Well done. Good job. I can type. 
There we go. I wanted to happy face it. We saw a new new top, so we don't actually have to worry about him. Might be able to get a plate here. We see everyone on the map. Perfect. Super solid recovery there. That's just what I was talking about though. They put it a little uh, a little too aggressive. Ash taking that turret shot was brutal for them. Hit the Q on that so that her Q finishes. Perfect. Super great reset for us. That gets me... Do I want Blasting Wand? Uh, I think I'm going to go Boots into Seal here. Get the Oracle Control Ward. Really, really solid for us, though. Love to see it. She got her Dark and she has full Boots now, so... Solid damage coming out from Kate now. Damn it. Just walked over and over again. I whipped everything. There goes my control word immediately, too. I'm a little sad about that. So many summoners were just used. <laughs> it's fine. Just shove this in. Okay, it could have been worse. One for one did there. This is not my wipe. I've been getting cucked left and right. Damn. Yeah. I got railed like twice in a row yesterday. And then that was the... That was all I ended up finishing off. I played like, I think I have only like six raids though in total. I survived four of them, so it's not too, too bad for me. I couldn't find any Salewas though, and then dying to someone that was ratting the hell out of another group that was ratting was, uh, was what made me a little sad. So I was like, all right, I'll go into my normal game for that day. And I played some Valorant after. <laughs> yeah, that's a, uh, it's a bit unfortunate. I'm probably gonna play some uh, after stream today. If I'm feeling up to it, depends on how long I stream. Currently, uh, just vibing. Getting some LP. Oh, whoops. Nice, solid damage there. 30 seconds on my R. I tried to stand behind her so that she would tank the Ash W for me. I still walked into an arrow on accident. I do have to be a bit careful. I'm really watching for the uh, Ash ult. <laughs> Ow. That was mean. Perfect. Want to see she'd walk up and be a little bit, a uh, little bit funky with it. Set this all up just for one Q from Caitlyn. Perfect. Feel this control ward. 
You take the reset with this control word gold. That puts me right into the ludens. Killed three people in factory, got lower nade by some random buckshot dude a mile away. Yeah, factory's cr dude, honestly, shotguns are so fun early game. If you can get level two Jaeger, I think it's level two Jaeger that gives you Magnum. Oh man, they're so fun. Yeah, the lower nade hitbox is a little, uh, little scuff, but yeah, shotguns are great. I love shotguns so much in Tarkov. Really just in general, but early wipe, they're so nice. Because you can, uh, you can get like flechette and everything and you roll everybody because most people aren't running anything better than uh, what sh the flechette just rolls through. You don't have everyone running all like tier 6 or anything by any means, so. Jesus Christ. Oh, well that's Rengar things, I guess. Love to see it. We're rolling factory with the papoosh. Man, honestly, that's another fun gun too. Are you leg meting people or are you like headshotting? How are you getting it done? The leg med is hilarious with it. Especially early game, you give everyone a bunch of heavy bleeds and fractures. Also, I meant to do uh, Leandre's this game and I just kind of didn't, so... Oops. Can't even tell, I'm just burr at stomach level. Fair enough. Stomach is a really good spot to aim. A lot of people aren't wearing armor that covers it. And even if they are, it's just a little brutal. Sorry, Chief. Fuck you. <laughs> I can miss all of my spells, but I'm still killing her. I'm getting it done. Slick yesterday to someone. You had a slick? How did you get a slick? I shouldn't have placed a ward there. I still had another one somewhere else. Found it in factory. Where'd you find a slick in factory? Where is this armor spawn that I've never seen before? Oh, did you kill someone to get it? Because you killed four players? Or are you saying that you got rolled because someone shot you in the arm? <laughs> no, I was on the dead body in the cube room. Damn, I've never, <laughs> I've never found a slick on factory before. Didn't even know it was, uh, there was any drops in there for it. I was like, oh, okay, yeah. Okay. It's like Botlane's mid. A little bit unfortunate. Probably the most expensive find so far in Factory for me. Uh, yeah, the only thing I can really think of that like might compare expense-wise to uh, a slick that you'd find often in Factory would be a um, like uh, a bunch of labs cards or something. Because I guess Tier Six armor lost a lot of its value because of the fact that uh, you can't buy it anywhere. Or really sell it anywhere so you have to use it or you have to take like significantly reduced value on it okay well i was even needed debating if you want to run labs like i don't know um there's a lot of profit to be made in labs but there's obviously a pretty substantial risk as well it's either empty or filled with cheaters a lot of times yeah especially right now i guess because it's so early in the wipe Damn, that was the cleanest art of my life. I hit, actually not. Maybe some like, some blind steals were probably a little bit cleaner. Rip. <laughs> Get him. Yeah. Okay, I'll be on drag. 
Uh, a very casual game once again, just like the last one. I'm just kind of chilling, killing people. Uh, playing really far back in this one. Especially now that I have a few seal stacks and everything, I don't want to play too, too far up. But my ult damage is uh, really, really good. 50 rounds of BP, so there's a chance to do it tonight. What kind of BP ammo? Like, because I guess... The only thing I can think of that has, like, good ammo that's actually classified as BP <laughs> is, uh... Like a Val or something. Seven, oh, 762, I guess, too. I'm dumb. It didn't even come to mind. I guess I haven't played much recently, though. I'll spare myself a little bit from that. Yeah, 762 BP does work. Most people don't have the literal BP round. I don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> but yeah, 762 BP is really solid. Especially early game, where most people are tier 4 armor or less. So it full pens. I wonder if they have vision on that bush. She might have been warding it, which is why she was down there. Couldn't quite hit it. Just walk down here. Nice, Caitlyn got a clean kill. I'm not warded here, right? No, as long as I don't walk uh, close to that. Come on, let me get the last auto. Perfect. Barely cleared the ward out. Got a kill up here. We're getting Baron. Figured I'd just shove that, uh, shove that one out there. I'm gonna catch up with the team. Nice. Get a full horizon here. Uh, and then we'll start building this. Uh, an early void staff for this game is going to be really nice. Because it'll get through some of the higher natural resistances. First time Zareth in a norm game last week. See, that's the thing, man. You first time it, and it's either you play like an absolute legend. Oh, and then, well, you just corrected me. Uh, or you play horribly, and the enemy ADC ends up telling you that you're the worst Zareth they've ever seen. <laughs> So, sounds like it went great for you, man. <laughs> Damn, they really hit you with all the shade, huh? <laughs> That's pretty brutal uh, insult. Yeah, you were the worst one I've ever seen before. Under the entire time, and there was a 40 to 50 CS difference between my ADC to her. Ah, okay, so you didn't actually play bad, they were just salty. I'm gonna let him make it. I'll just go to help kill towers. <laughs> the Lux is pretty upset about uh, her jungler, huh? No, oh, I wanted to see if she'd walk forward there. GG well played. Love to see it. Uh, 418. Like, the KP's decent. The gold's solid and everything. A bunch of damage, I'm pretty sure. I think this game was really solid damage-wise. Really nice win. Once again, team played it super casual. Whole team decided to gang up on me, too, because it was... Uh, so, hold on. Give it to Caitlyn. She played well. She recovered really well after the uh, the early game went a little bit rough. Shut the damage off. Oh, yeah. Damage was super solid. Love to see it. Really good game. Plus 16. Hello, thank you so, so much for watching the video. If you could leave me any kind of your feedback, so likes, dislikes, leave some comments, talk about the video, any kind of recommendations for the channel, anything of the sort, I greatly appreciate all feedback. I really, really appreciate everyone that's watching these videos right now. It means a lot to me. I hope you have a great day.